players on the other side just a second. Tim, what was the most concerning that you saw from your defense tonight? Well, <clears throat> I would say it's very disappointing, and uh, that's not our standard here at the University of Oklahoma. But uh, you know, everything you do, you just look in the mirror first. And uh, I, we didn't get it done tonight. So, um, you know, I was disappointed in a lot of things. But at the same time, um, like I said, it all starts with me, and and then we got to got to get it fixed. How tough was those first two drives, case they had been just long? Yeah, they were. Uh, you know, our third down performance tonight wasn't very good. And, uh, you know, at times I thought we had opportunities to make plays and get off the field, and we didn't. And we allowed drives to be extended. And some of that was what they did, too. So I give credit to them. But at the same time, um, you know, I thought that uh, we needed to do a better job in almost every area, but certainly third down. And that was a big, that was a big, big, big part of that ball game. Coach, is there, a, is there, these kids are human, is there any way to explain or be prepared for this Martinez guy to kind of struggle in these first games and then come out tonight and play like a Heisman candidate? Yeah, he, he had a great game and I'll give him credit and uh, certainly disappointing, uh, but um, so, yeah, I mean, he, he did what he had to do for his team to win the football game and we didn't, so he won, they won. I guess part of the question is m mentally, it's hard. Is it difficult? Do you find it difficult with your players when you see a, a team lose to a Tulane and then come back and you know what they can do, but sometimes yeah. the players don't? Well, we respect it. We, we have a lot of respect for everybody we play. And, uh, you know, he's. He's made a lot of big plays throughout his career, both with his arm and with his with his feet. And you know, he didn't against Tulane, but unfortunately, he did against us. And uh, you know, again, part of that was him, part of that was us. You mentioned third down, uh, Adrian Martinez, the long run there, yeah. late. Yeah. Uh, sort of the back. Would you yeah. see on that play? Would you feel like that well, we were in a five-man rush. We wanted to close the scramble lanes. And uh, played man coverage, and we're expecting, to, uh, you know, a, a screen or a uh, quarterback draw something, something different, you know, something low risk, and uh, you know, he pulled it down, and uh, we were unable to catch him with our free, free players. So uh, again, that was that was a backbreaker, uh, but among other things. He switched out a little bit last week. Uh, is there a reason why he didn't, or, or didn't come in? Yeah, uh, I felt like at the, at the time, at the particular point in time, that uh, you know that's what we need to do to win. And uh, you know he's he's working his tail off, and he's going to be a good player. And uh, you know. Ernest, Ernest, Ernest reps. But I've been real pleased with Jaron. What's your message to the team? You got a tough week ahead you with TCU on yeah. the horizon. Just the yeah, message yeah. coming in to the game week and preparation and bouncing back. Well, you know, you're catching it on a short, you know, half hour, an hour after the, the game. But uh, so the sting of the loss, uh, you know. We've got to go back and look at look at the whys, learn from them. Uh, but you know, I, I know this about our players uh, that they're going to respond the right way uh, because obviously, they're not plays, it's embarrassing, it's disappointing, uh, and we got to do a better job. So uh, we're going to have a sense of urgency to go back to work next week and get these to get these issues fixed and play against a really good offense. Surprised. And Brent mentioned this, the point of attack, just the physical play and how Kansas State was able to dictate things at times. Uh, yeah, I was. I knew they were I knew they were in a, a very sound, a very physical, very fundamental football team and uh, expected us to be better, but but we weren't. Did, did they do anything differently than what you all had seen previously on film that kind of shocked you a little bit? Uh, no, I'm not shocked. I wouldn't. You know, there's little wrinkles every week, but as far as like, uh, a major deal? No. They, they, they did kind of what we expected them to and, and managed the game that, the way they, that we expected them to coming in. You know, and it was a perfect, it, it worked out for them. All right.
Good please. enough? Okay. All right, Tim. Sure. See you guys. That, that's uh that's the feeling I have right now you know just frustrated that felt like we couldn't get out of our own way um, you know a ton of credit to Kansas State they played their butt off they're dang good on defense but so many opportunities given away that where you know we're standing here and it's a completely different story but it starts with me we got to be better situation got to be better and uh, and we'll get better What's, what's your message to the players uh, coming off this where you know, it seemed like two first downs and a penalty yeah. and just kind of pitch you off, put you behind the chain several times. But what's your message to the players going into this week trying to do that? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is understanding it's us and it can get fixed. You know, it's it's all about the people that are on the field and and then guys coaching them. We got to be more disciplined. Bottom line, we got to be better and not have pre snap penalties. I think the most frustrating part for me and for us is that we go on the road last week in front of an unbelievable crowd and we have zero pre snap penalties. We have zero non playing penalties on the road and then we do what we did today. So, from a consistency standpoint, that can't happen. You know, we got to be the same every single week from that standpoint and that can't creep into our game. I know a lot of there's know there's a lot of reasons why you guys didn't do what you wanted to do tonight, but it seemed like on some third down plays that Dylan might make, yeah. he didn't make. Was yeah. that him being off? Was that K State? What, what do you attribute that to? Again, K State did a great job. I got to put Dylan in better situations. I think when you look at it, Dylan fought his butt off. He played tough. He played incredibly hard. He led. Did he miss some things? Does he want some things back? Absolutely. I want some calls back. You know, and that's the that's the reality of of stepping in the arena. But I'm I'm proud of him and how he battled and and how tough he played. Eric, Eric, Eric Gray, can you talk about his game and, and his running ability tonight? Yeah, again, EG did some really good things. We're, we're going to continue to see that. You know, I, again, you're gonna you're gonna get out what you put in. That kid's put in a ton of work and he's got a bunch of ability. So we'll continue to see him play really well and play at a high level. What did you do in the third quarter? You really busted the run game open. He had five double-digit gains in that third quarter alone. Yeah, I think the message at halftime more than anything was just finishing. You know, we were right there. There was air inside there, and we just had to do a great job to strain and finish. And I think we finished on a couple things a little bit better, and that created some one-on-ones for those guys to be able to have some chunk plays. Jeff, is that, is that kind of the biggest alarm you take out of that is that you came out of halftime, you were fighting to get the ball back in the first half, you're moving the ball really well, and it's just kind of like self-inflicted. The, the, it's the most frustrating part, you know, to be able to stand here and, and understand we did some good things, and we did so many things that put us in the position to not have a happy locker room. And it's all – it's us, you know, as, as much as anything. Again, Kansas State's a dang good football team and a dang good defense, but frustrated that we put ourselves in so many of those situations on third down. Does them obviously taking the air out of the ball essentially and holding the ball, does that make you think it fill the players press a little bit whenever they get the ball? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is offensively we gotta start faster. You know, that, we have to start faster. We can't go out there and not score points the first two possessions. That, that's not going to be who we are. And uh, those guys being up 14 to nothing plays into their hand in a huge way to be able to take the air out of the game. Uh, we knew that going in. And we got we to take advantage of every single opportunity when you're playing somebody like that who does a great job running the football and, and has a ton of ball control. Your quarterback run game, I know Dylan's not going to maybe get out and run like Adrian did tonight, but did you feel good about that? Is that something maybe you guys can build on with the, with the run game? Yeah, I think Dylan's going to continue to to make plays with his feet. That's just who he is as, a, as an athlete and as a QB, so he'll continue to do that when he needs to. You need to do more of it? I mean, are you, are you protecting him to some degree? No, I, we're, we're going to continue to to play with him and play to his strengths, you know. And I, I think when you see him do what he did tonight, 
and do what he did last week with his feet, you understand that when those those situations come up, he's going to be able to take advantage of it, but we're not going to force that either. Coach, it was kind of an odd third quarter because you came out, you knew what you needed to do, and you guys just immediately started blocking people. Yeah. And then then, all, then the third quarter just didn't turn out well. Yeah, you look at it, we, have, we settle for a field goal on the first drive, and then we punt the football because of an issue on third down and then into fourth down. Right, and then we don't convert on a fourth down when we have Drake on our sideline. Uh, we we miss on that, and then we punt the ball again. So you go field goal, you go punt, downs punt. You got no chance. Not not against the guys we were playing today. Jeff, you're you're high, kind of like we are. Um, I know that you know a lot of the fans pointed out tonight that you know the the announce the PA announcer was doing things longer and louder than than usual, and you did have some. You know, false start penalties. Do you think that had anything to do with it? You know, we'll talk about that from um, in, internally and just and just kind of see. You know, we are trying to snap the ball quickly on first down, but that's something that we'll talk about. Jeff, the, the slower start or the need to start faster is that a mentality issue of getting getting guys locked in quicker, or is that something you guys need to sharpen up in terms of game plan? For no, that that falls on us. If our guys aren't playing the way they need to play, then it's, it's going to start with us. So we got to get those guys playing faster, playing better, playing cleaner earlier, to put ourselves in better situations. Appreciate it.